Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hull City in Football Manager 2018. And today is a huge day. It's the day. It's the early league final. It's us versus Norwich. And as you can see, what is it? Like 10 games left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, exactly 10. Oh my god, my guessing ability is great. Uh, but yeah, this is a huge game. It's definitely the early league uh, final. As you can see, they're currently in second place. And uh, they're just one point behind us. And we know, we know from previous episodes that they have better goal difference than us. So if we end up in the same points, they are the ones that will be ahead of us in the league table. And uh, since last episode, that a very annoying uh, loss away versus Ipswich. And we played one game and we got another like one goal win versus Millwall. And Millwall is another one of those teams I was talking about during the last episode. Kind of in the middle of the table. We should be winning pretty easy at home. And still we only got one goal. Luckily for us though, uh, Norwich has actually been struggling. They haven't been losing games. But in their last five games, they have four draws. So... Even though we lost one, since they are picking up all those draws, we have managed to overtake them, because you might remember that last time we checked out the league table, I believe, if I remember things correctly, they were ahead, uh, were ahead of us in, in the table. But yeah, this is the early league final. Enough talking. We need to see what happens. And I'm actually trying to come out here blazing, as you will see with my formation in a few seconds. We are playing at home, and a wise man wise, uh, once said, uh, the best type of defense is attacking so we are coming out attacking and it's almost a mirror formation here but uh, with a huge difference they are playing with two defensive midfielders we aren't playing with any defensive midfielders uh, as you might remember before when i've been playing this formation i usually have like one playmaker and then one uh, defensive uh, midfielder but larson here he's just uh, um uh, he's an advanced playmaker and larson is a uh, um uh, defensive, not defensive, but deep lying uh, playmaker. So we are here to shock them. We are here to hopefully show that the best type of uh, of uh, defense you can do is why can't I? Weird. Look, the game is uh, bugging. So I guess we'll have to talk to. Oh my god, this was not at all what I wanted game is clearly bugging but yeah well let's just start the game then because uh, that was weird I haven't seen that bug before in, F in FM 18 where I'm not allowed uh, the the team talk screen was completely empty so, empty so I had to ask the assistant manager and my team talk is haven't been great but he his one was clearly even worse because nobody become happy or motivated or fired up and one guy becomes oh my god this is a nightmare of a start look at the clock we haven't even played for a whole minute when Josh Murphy gives Norwich the lead. And yeah, this is a nightmare of a start. But this is definitely far too early to tell if our tactics is working or not. Because we, we have been playing for seconds. This We, we, we have no idea. And it's actually something that's going to happen ASAP from the kickoff here. And will it be good or bad news? Let's, uh, let's see. Evardo, but... Uh, Evandro, but what will he do? He sets up... Rosicki on the left flank into the box. It's cleared. Cleared, picked up by Norwich defenders. Are they trying to counter-attack? Do we have one back to position? It's Bowen on the right flank. He loses it. Come on, guys, focus. I mean, we have two guys versus one here. This shouldn't have the potential to become dangerous. Don't make anything stupid now, guys. Show me some class. I've still only played for two minutes. It feels like we've already been playing for like the 45 minutes or something like this. But we have only played two minutes. It's Bowen. Bowen on the right side. What will he do? Back to Evander in the middle. Gruyck. Gruyck sets up. Uh, Hernandez. Hernandez. And look at this. Abel Hernandez. And this, I believe, is it his first or second goal since he's come back from his eight or nine months? I think this was like a nine month injury. So a crazy start to this first half. Because, I mean, this is the league final. And we played just over two minutes. I've already seen two goals. I mean, this is not a league final. This is a, these two minutes of football manager on crack. Look at statistics here. We are dominating possession, but not, none of the teams is actually creating chances. But here is Larson with a corner. 
And he goes pretty far outside. Is Evandro? And this group. Oh! I thought I thought that one was heading for a better destiny than it actually was. Probably got a little bit mis uh, mislead by by the angle. And look, another highlight. Like they just come flying here. This time it's Norwich though, attacking on the right flank. Intercepted though by uh, Grosiski beautifully. Evandro Larson, the Greek. Evandro. I would like to see Evandro a little bit higher up in the pitch because he's an attacking midfielder. I feel like he's a lot uh, down there. He's Hernandez once again. And on the reap. Look at this. Look at this, the first one doesn't seem impossible and the Norwich goalkeeper saves it but it bounces back and of course with the goalkeeper down Hernandez can't miss that one and this is actually beautiful news for us not only we have managed to turn things around after just playing 15 minutes but of course another very important uh, thing by this is as you remember our goal scoring machine, Dicko, he's out for the rest of the season. He's out for a lot of next season. Hernandez just come back for like 9, 10, 10 months injury. And we need him to replace Dicko. We need him to become the new goal scoring machine. And look, at, oh my God, look at his chances here. Things is just exploding since that, that goal. We created so many chances, but uh, looks like they picked up on possession. Large from the corner, Grosicki completely lonely. And it's Bowen, weak finisher. Could definitely could have done better there. Not sure what was up with that one. That was a great chance. You definitely have time to do some more quality in this aiming. But it's not over. And here is Hernandez. He's going for the hat trick already. Evandro sets up Grosiski. Grosiski and he misses a goal there. It would have been beautiful because a one goal lead is so very fragile and there's so much time left to play. We are getting closer to half time though. Has passed that 40 minute mark uh, when Norwich is attacking. Come on, guys, focus. Intercepted by Dawson, still in possession. Grosiski, where's this highlight heading? Is it over? Yeah, it is. My God, that was a long one. That was a look at the chances. Looks like our attacking. We had that that terrible start, but other than that, we have been dominating things. We definitely have. Let's see if I'm actually allowed to do some team talk here. No, it's completely empty. So let's talk. Still empty. Let's try to mark them. Can't even mark the, the players. Something is clearly wrong here. I'm not sure what's uh, what my game is up to because it doesn't allow me to, to select any players. I guess we just have to send it to the assistant again then. And actually this time he kind of did it decently. Kind of, because they looked delighted. I would love them to look like motivated or fired up. But at least that was a lot better than his first team talk. But I'm not sure what's up with, with that thing. It's clearly something is bugging here for me. And after this episode, I am going to restart the game. And hopefully that will fix everything. Because it's going to be uh, very uh, bad. Oh, he's bowing! He's bowing! He's bowing! First, uh, for a second, was it not side? I don't think it was. No, it was his 10th goal this season. Young Bowen. 10 goals for the youngster. And... What a beautiful thing. ASAP after kickoff from half, like almost like as quick as the first goal in first half, because they scored like ASAP. And now in the first second minute in, of the second half, the Bowen makes it three. And my God, is our attack shock working here? It's working even better than I predict. Look at the chances here. 17 shots, 10 on target, compared to their five shots, one on target. And we have a little bit of safety margin now with a two goal lead. But I believe it's time for some subs here. So we have some tied players because it's been a kind of a rough schedule. Uh, Evandro, for example, has played two games in a row. He's down to 69% fitness level. Probably going to remove him. But first, let's see if anybody's having a really bad day at work. Well, the defenders, maybe Larson, but we're going to go for Evandro because he's not playing great and he's tired. And uh, Mason also a bit tired, but. Uh, if he weren't tight, he probably would have played instead of Larson because he is really good. But for now, let's go with him as attacking midfielder. And I think I'm going to save the rest of the subs a little bit longer because we are playing so well and nobody is, uh, is dying. But this is a fantastic result. Okay, let's go for the last subs here. Hernandez has been sensational, fantastic. But with Dick out for the rest of the season, it's definitely time to rest him. He's still like uh, working his way back from the injury. Let's bring in Rossi, and Rossi has actually scored. So he scored, I believe it. Maybe it was the last game. He scored recently, at least his, his first goal for the club. 
I, th I believe it was uh, during last game. And the last sub, maybe we should go with Gruik, pretty tired. And bring in Zhang. Uh, actually, since there's 10 minutes left, let's go with a defensive side. Bridgie on the on the box as a ball winning uh, midfielder. I think that could be a wise decision for, for the last 10 minutes to, to balance the team out a little bit more. And here is a free kick, Kingsley for Larson. Mason, Mason, back for Kingsley in the left flank. Can he get into the box of somebody? No, it's clear, but oh, decent try there uh, on the volley there by, by Mason. A bit optimistic, but uh, we are creating stuff. Five minutes uh, left to play, and then, of course, some extra time. Norris with the possession, working their way into our side of the pitch. Come on, guys. You're like 10 guys in this one. You should have been able to just remove his passing options. This uh, intercepted, though. Dawson, our captain. Or Grosiski, Grosiski, Larson, Bridgie, Mason. Show yourself, guys. Bowen. A lot of room here on the right side. And yeah, and it's an early cross. It's an early cross. Oh my god! What a beautiful goal there by Grosiski. Take a look at replay. It, it's a volley and it's it's a masterpiece. It's such a beautiful goal. And we are destroying Norwich. Norwich has been topping the table for quite some time. And now we are destroying them. But look at that volley. What a masterpiece. Such a beauty. And this result is... This could be the moment when we win the league. This is a sensational result. Like, when I went for this attacking formation, of course I wanted to win. I knew that if we won this one, we're going to set us up for a really good position for the rest of the season. But I definitely didn't at all expect it go, to go this well. Especially since uh, Dicko is out for the rest of the season he, and he has been the one scoring. Oh, here, look! Oh my god, it's Bowen! It's the second goal! This is crazy! We're into extra time and we have 5 1. This is the sort of resource where we have lost a few games with. That's been like embarrassing moments for me. We actually uh, we did it in one of the episodes, didn't we? Uh, where, when I completely got humiliated. And now we're doing this to the team that have been topping the table for quite some time. And remember guys, remember what I was talking about earlier about their goal difference. They had a much, I believe that was like 11 points or something like that, stronger goal difference than us. But this result will definitely even that out quite a bit because not only are we getting goals, they are of course conceding goals at the same time. So that this, this result could be huge for the goal difference because they were destroying us in that uh, department before. Rosicki misses the pass. Bridget picks it up. And that's, of course, his job as a ball-winning midfielder. He's the one who's going to bring it back. But that's a full-time whistle. And now, of course, going to be very frustrated if I can't talk to the guys. Because I'm really passionate right now. This has been a fantastic result. And we really would like to say it. But no, I can't say anything. I can select players. Maybe they are not even shown to be selected. So guess we'll have to hand it over to assistant and hopefully he won't screw us over. And it looks like he did a good talk. They agreed to it. But this has been a fantastic. Look at Bowen there. 9.3 rating with his two goals. 9.3 also on Grosicki. One goal, two assists. And 8.8 uh, .8 with two goals for Hernandez. And of course they didn't get to play the whole game. And yeah... This is fantastic. This is a masterpiece. The attacking shock work and everything is so much better than I expected. Here we have the league table. Now we have some safe to margin here. Four points down to Norwich and uh, Sunderland a little bit further down. But of course they have played one less game. So a very, very important result for us. This sets us up for a great situation and we definitely have a good position now to avoid i mean we're definitely not clear, clear to win it uh, definitely not but we are getting a little bit of a safety distance down here to the qualification promotion spots and would would be fantastic to be be asap promoted and don't have to fight for it with qualifications because that could become very very difficult but yeah very very pleasing episode this is definitely, this might be the game of the season. Could be definitely one of the best games since we were playing against Norwich. Huge, huge Norwich that have been so very good and we managed to destroy them. But yeah, 
I think that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.